A good smartwatch is supposed to be sturdy so it lasts years of use on your wrist and it also needs to look good. It sits on your wrist so it should have a comfortable wristband that doesn't look like a toy. And I found a fantastic budget smartwatch which ticks all the boxes. Welcome back, it's Adam from Family Pop TV. Stay with me if you want to find out more. Mafam has a long held reputation for producing keenly priced entry level smartwatches and its brand new MX series blending in well to this contested area. Today we're going to show you the 2021's MX5 smartwatch, which is one of the coolest budget smartwatches I have been testing up to date with the Bluetooth phone calls feature on board. The MX5 we're testing today has a waterproof leather strap with the stainless steel buckle, but there are various straps available in the different colors and materials. And what's interesting, it comes with a spare silicone strap, a screen protector, and please note, not every manufacturer adds screen protector to the watch for free, but Mafan does. The straps comes detached from MX5, and I'm going to show you now how to fit them in. Pull this little pin here, it clicked. Pull the pin, it clicked and you're good to go. Very simple and straightforward. The MX-5 has a standard 22mm straps and hinges, so you could try on any straps of any colours as long as they are 22mm. It has an amazing build quality, the body is made out of aluminium, it has a beautiful matte finish giving the smartwatch a fancy look, which slightly resembles the Huawei GT Sport watch, I like it. Here we got a PPG sensors and here are the magnetic charging pins. There are two buttons on the side of the case, a microphone and a speaker. The display is a round 1.3 inch TFT LCD display with a resolution of 240 by 240 pixels. It has three levels of brightness. I'm using the third one as it's better visible in the bright sunlight. By the way, the light automatically turns on as you move your wrist up. It looks good and it's having an IP68 waterproof rating, so no worries about getting it wet while washing your hands or taking a bath or even swim. We have performed a simple waterproof test for you because many of you keep asking are these watches really waterproof? Yes, the MX-5 is totally waterproof. You'll be able to track your swimming exercises and possibly even pick up a phone call while in the water. To recap, an IP67 enclosure is rated to resist submersion but only at the depth of 1 meter and for 30 minutes. Our MX-5 smartwatch has an IP68 enclosure which is rated to resist submersion of at least 1 meter and at least 30 minutes. So yes, you can safely swim with your MX-5. Hello, I'm swimming now. The MX-5 is available in two colors of the body, black and silver, and there are various straps, for example TPU, leather or metal ones, and the various colors of the straps are available. The MX-5 is being sold by several brands worldwide. The most popular are Mafam, this is the unit we test in today, Gulu, Lycra, and all the generic brands like ZGMB, LDJ, LLTG, and more. The MX-5 can be found on Amazon worldwide with a price range from around 50 British pounds, 56 euros or 50 American dollars. But I would recommend check the prices on AliExpress. There are affiliate links in the video description where we found the MX-5 for the best possible prices. The MX-5 uses the WearFit Pro Companion app that you install on your phone which is where you set and control most of its functionality. You have to scan a QR code with your smartphone to get to the Apple Store or Google Play as the app is compatible with both iOS and Android. Here in the app you'll get some nice graphs of your activities, set alarms, set your goals, notifications, etc, etc. And it gives you the control on everything the MX-5 has to offer. 
the MX-5 using a dual Bluetooth connectivity. The first one is for all day to sync and the second one allows you to make a phone calls and use the watch as an external speaker for the music player in your phone. For a clarification, without the second Bluetooth connection you won't be able to make or pick a phone calls as the watch will show a message that there's no Bluetooth on, even if the primary connection is turned on. The secondary Bluetooth connection can be disabled from the watch screen here. I could recommend to turn it down if you'd like to preserve the battery life. Let's get to the features of MX-5. To get to the widget, just press the top button or swipe to the right from the main screen. The first widget in the menu is a heart rate measurement. The MX-5's accuracy in monitoring the heart rate is pretty good. We have compared the heart rate readings from our MX-5 with the medical pulse oximeter which has got a high accuracy of a heart rate measurement as well as blood oxygen saturation level. As you can see the MX-5 performs fine. The heart rate is accurate enough as for the known medical device. I'm happy with that. And this is the blood pressure monitor. The measurement takes around 30 seconds, then the results being displayed on the screen. Blood pressure contains of two readings. The first number, called systolic blood pressure, measures the pressure in your arteries when your heart beats. The second number, called diastolic blood pressure, measures the pressure in your arteries when your heart rests between beats. MET stands for metabolic equivalent, which is the way that exercise physiologists estimate how many calories are burned during physical activity. MET is also defined as a measure of exercise intensity based on oxygen consumption and that's what the MX-5 tries to measure, showing you the daily graphs if using the exercise modes. Breathe. The brief widget on MX-5 encourages you to set aside a few minutes a day to relax and focus on your breathing. Simply open the breathe widget, tap start, inhale slowly as the animation grows and then exhale as it shrinks. Let's give it a go. Inhale. And exhale. And again, inhale. And exhale. Here we go, there's the reading. Here's a tracking of SpO2, also known as oxygen saturation, which is a measure of the amount of oxygen carrying hemoglobin in the blood, relative to the amount of hemoglobin not carrying oxygen. The body needs there to be a certain level of oxygen in blood, or it will not function efficiently. The next widget in the menu, also accessible when you swipe the display to the left, is a step counter or pedometer if you like. That measures distance and calories organized in a plain screen that gives you clear and visible readings. And now the widget we've been waiting for, the sport modes. The MX-5 has 13 sport modes to monitor your workout and exercises accordingly. And we got here, running, walking, football, badminton, Tennis, basketball, cycling, elliptical or rowing machine, on foot, yoga, strength exercises, trekking and free training. This one will monitor any activity you would like to track. You can easily keep track of all these exercises in real time directly on the watch and it allows you to understand your physical condition. Unfortunately the MX-5 hasn't got a GPS built in, but the companion app can take the GPS location from your phone. A real time message notifications. It pushes the notifications about an incoming text messages and social apps messages. You can read through the last several messages but unfortunately you can't reply to them. The smartwatch can vibrate to notify you of the incoming messages which can help you to stay in touch so you never miss any important news. To have a quick access to the messages just swipe up from the main screen. The music app control. You can control your music app in your smartphone once the devices are connected. You could skip to the next song or a previous song or control the volume. Once the secondary Bluetooth connection is turned on, you can use the MX-5 as an external speaker, which means the music from your phone being played via the watch. And that's insane! I like it! 
it pushes the weather info from your phone. To use this function, the watch has to be connected with your phone. The next widget is a sleep tracker, which can provide the analysis of your sleep, whether you are in deep sleep, light sleep or in wake-up time. Take pictures. Here we got a camera trigger function. Pressing the button on the watch display will trigger the photo mode on your phone. I don't use it personally, but surely it could come handy in some selfie situations. Phone. As mentioned earlier, you'll need the secondary Bluetooth connection turned on to use the phone feature on your MX-5. You can pick and make the phone calls, save the favorite numbers in a mini phone book, pick any numbers with the numeric keyboard on a display. It's the only watch in this price range which allows you to use Bluetooth phone calls feature. Let's make a simple test. Welcome to the EE voicemail. I'm sorry, but the person you call is not available. Please leave your message after the tone. As you can see, it works absolutely fine. A few useful widgets such as calculator, stopwatch and a timer, which I'm sure can come handy in some situation, can be found here. Watch faces. The MX-5 has got four preloaded dials and one customizable watch face. You can download more watch faces via companion app, however there's a little fee 99 cents for watch face. Technically you got here two options, you could pay for every single downloadable watch face or you could buy a monthly membership which is $2.99 per month but it could be cancelled anytime. And this allows you to download and save every available watch face and also get some extra perks which are available via the companion app. There's a one watch face which can be customized. You can use any photo or image from your phone and use it as a background. And here's the example. Zoom it, crop it, save it. Shape and position of the digits can be modified too. Once it's done, you could sync it with your watch. It's got a high intensity 230 mAh lithium polymer battery, which as manufacturer states, allows you to use the watch for 5 to 7 days between the charging, assuming you'll use the watch every day. If all the features of the MX-5 are turned on, I mean the constant light up screen, the secondary Bluetooth connection, vibration and the screen to the maximal brightness level, the battery might last only around 24 hours. However, if you would use the watch without constant connection with your smartphone, that's what usually I do, the battery will last up to even 30 days. The full battery charge takes about 2.5 hours. The efficient low power consumption processor also contributes to the long battery life. As you can see, this is a pretty simple and definitely good looking device, it's got all the basics you'll need to track your fitness goals. If you're thinking about buying this one, there's an Amazon link in the video description when you could find it for the fair price. Guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed today's video and found it pretty informative. Please show us some love and if you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing to Family Pop TV.